Steve again. I'm on the M4 now near Bracknell. I'm just pulling into a, a truck that's managed to limp its way into an emergency refuge area. So he's actually off the M4. Uh, so the M4 now is all three running lanes now. So he was lucky really to get in and uh, out the flow of the traffic. Um, the, ve the vehicle does drive a little bit. I've actually saw him the other side of the carriageway and um, he's kindly managed to get it started and move it back in the lay-by for me to give me plenty of room to get in front and save slowing the traffic down. Um, so we're going to get this loaded. This is off to Heathrow. Um, so it's not going too far and it's, it's a 26 ton um, Mercedes. Let's go back. Just back in onto it now. Managed to get right back into the emergency lay-by. That's the traffic coming, but he's parked quite well over for me, so I've got a bit of room to uh, to work to work on the driver's side rear because that's the half shaft I'm gonna have to remove. And um, yeah, that's about as best as it can go really on a motorway. So you've got all lanes running at me, but um, yeah, just gotta keep your wits about you. here too long I spoke to the driver he's gonna stay in the cab and uh, the handbrake's on and um, I've asked him not to touch it at all and uh, once I get it loaded I'll load the boom down a bit and he can come out the passenger side so he's quite happy enough in there could have got him in my cab but he said he's happy enough as long as he's don't start walking around which he seems quite sensible got quite a long reach um, this underlift so it's uh, quite handy if you're not if you're not sort of um, right back to it you can actually reach out to it pick it up and bring it in right all right this is a pre-lift it's just going to get it up onto some stands just get all that ready there there we go up she goes Out. I don't know if you can hear the old traffic go past us. It's not too busy at the moment. Be here it under here too long really. Not on the motorway, you wanna keep an eye on the traffic coming in really, but it happen in a split second. Right. Yeah, right. Some 
chains on it. truck's gone into limp mode so uh, so it has got summer drive but very slow speed there we go to one side these books are very good actually they fit quite nice and tight to these axles on these works Yeah, on this, the handbrake actually uh, works on the front wheel as well. We can actually see two pipes here going to the brake chamber. So one will be the service brakes and obviously one will be the, the part brake. So at least we know he's still got the handbrake on for us. Right. Right. Drop it down now a little bit. And we get that half shaft removed. Here yeah, on these, Mercedes. The half shaft we pull is the driver's side, the off side if you like, um, because the near side has got the diffs. So really you don't want to pull the diff side out. Bit of a job to get back. Right. So these might have a 27 mil half shaft bolts. Drip tray, some rags, probably need me hammer as well. So get it all in one go. Be handy, see me coming back. Right, this is a more dangerous bit, but. Right. So, keep an eye on that traffic. Things coming a bit close here. Yeah, we're scarping. Actually, we've got more room here to work on and what we do picking up on a hard shoulder. It's good for us. It's got a lot safer, really. Even though all lanes are running at you. Right, it's a hard shot there. Let's get rid of this and come back. We're on that traffic. Right, we? Alright. Lots away. All right, get some rags. We've got a bag. Yeah, no, that's it. Right, three, three cable ties. To make a little condom bag. Unfortunately, the Mercedes, um, got roller bearings on the back so unless you actually got a cover which I haven't actually got for a, a Mercedes they do tend to leak a little bit I've got one for a DAF and I've got one for a Volvo but, uh, but no, no not for a Mercedes obviously they don't tend to break their half shelves much because that's what we tend to pick them up right It's quite quiet actually. Back in there. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm 
move the camera a little bit. I'll get used to. get a little bit leak out to start with it should settle down right, okay on goes the bag keep an eye look at this for sure as much as I can really save any mess right You can't look at the traffic all the time when you're working, but I'm listening out best I can. He thinks it's like coming on that rumble strip. I'll be off. Right. There's one bolt there. It's got added having them trays. That's just a bolt as well if you take the losing one. Right. Smells a bit. Right, let's get the half shaft in. Then uh so are you okay? Right. Yeah, imagine this this rear axle is probably a probably a steer and it, and it would lift if it weren't for that big crane on the back end, so So we'll be towing it both axles down. Oh. Get an airline. Right. Move the camera down a bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Right. Alright, the air dries this side, so I'm gonna Oh, I'm not on that and supply it of air so this is so keep the brakes off and keep the suspension up so uh, yeah that will do us the air dry that's a test point oh, I've got the wrong one there I'll take that bow put that in the wrong holder it's one small more of a protruded one shall we say so I need more of a flat one that's better mainly use the other one that's got have like an inverted uh, test point there we go right bring that forward here I'm gonna get the driver out the passenger side if you can come out Just so, so we can get out around that, that's no problem. Okay, alright, let's get the trailer pull on. Yeah, once I'm loaded now, I've got to phone the highways agency up on that phone. Hopefully they can uh, give us a bit, a bit of cover. What I mean by that is, they'll probably put a red X uh, up on the gantry further up, so the lane will be closed. And that will let me enough time to to get up to speed and get clear. Otherwise, I'll be pulling straight out into a live lane for traffic with no uh, no speed up. That sounds all right. No speed up. Okay. You know what I mean. That's it. Stuff. Right, both working okay. All right, I'm getting to take the hazard lights off as well. 
that's clear on there. We don't need to do anything with that there. Yeah. Okay there. Right, could you turn the hazard lights off for us? Yeah. And uh, sorry, now to put Go. <laughs> That's great, yeah. If you could take the hazard light off and yeah. uh the handbrake off. Yeah. Oh you've got a bit of a engine hump here. You okay getting out the other side or yeah, yeah, no, yeah you're okay, I'll come round you. Yeah, leave the keys in there, that'd be fine. The on. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fine, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, the side door's open on the truck, okay. Right, I'm just gonna check check out we've got a truck coming in. It's coming a little bit. Yeah, with that wind, I don't want to take the door. Right, okay. Let's have a look, see what, oh, a bit of wood there, that's handy. Right, okay, handbrake off. Yeah, I, I always like to have a check, see what everything's all right. Turn the ignition off. Right, do it yourself. Right, okay, we've got All wheels rolling. The suspension's up at the back, all right. We got clearance with the mud guards. neat and tidy right that's all me right okay let's ring the highways and see if we can get some assistance to get out I just spoke to a highways agency on the phone and uh, I've got permission now to uh, rejoin the carriageway. Uh, they've put an uh, X above our lane, so hopefully now there should be no traffic in the inside lane. Let's just have a quick look around the back. Debris obeying it. No, no, we've still got another vehicle coming. Yeah, still, yeah. So obviously, the X should be up, but he hasn't taken no notice of it. The rest of the traffic appears to be not in the lane, so we should be clear. Right, to pull out. 